What does the month of August hold for us, our future, and the future of our planet? The most intense energies are flowing in in the month of August, making August the most shocking month of all in 2024 thus far. Everything from intense changes to also offering up amazing opportunities depending on how you handle the tsunami wave of energy that's going to be coming flowing in in early August actually beginning on August 5th to be specific so what's ahead in the month of August everything from severe storms unlike any storms we've ever seen floods in the deserts major massive earthquake developing out in the Pacific and other places as well Another big event playing out at the White House. Can it get any better? The White House has been quite a show to begin with. A huge attack coming to America and some of America's allied countries. New conflicts igniting and more changes in power, including the attempt of taking out other leaders or taking other people out of power. It's going to be interesting, friends. The world is changing ever more in the month of August. Like big time, the world is changing with explosive energies flowing in, especially when we hit the full moon right around August 19th. So today, I'm going to share with you the numerology and the astrology for the month of August so that you can make the best out of the month of August for yourself, along with very specific visions and predictions that come from my team of divine spirit guides that I'm going to share with you today. This is my August 2024 forecast and predictions. On August 5th, we step into that first tsunami wave of energy, the Mercury retrograde entering direct into the sign of Virgo. And on August 19th, we have that huge tsunami wave. So get your surfboards waxed and ready to go, friends. This is the next big energy shift that comes rolling in. I see dark black clouds that appear as if they're being sent straight down from the heavens. I see huge water spouts with rains and hail that cover the ground. The desert sands turn to rivers and so many are swept away by the coming storms. I saw a volcano erupting beneath the waters and I saw a crack forming beneath the surface bringing about massive earthquakes and huge waves. to the month of August 2024 beautiful souls and a big old happy birthday goes out to all our August Leos and our late August Virgos if you happen to have a birthday coming up in the near future and you want to take advantage of the most powerful day of the year your birthday then you're going to want to check out my video most powerful day of the year and you're going to want to watch that a few weeks before your birthday so that you can do everything perfectly leading up to the day of your birthday to empower your birthday and empower and ensure that your next birth year is the best year ever. Check it out at the link up above. If you are new to my forecast and predictions for the month, each month we break it down into three categories, starting off with the numerology, along with the Western astrology, followed by the specific predictions and visions given to me by my team of divine spirit guys. And this is my forecast for August 2024. The month of August in the realm of numerology vibrates at the seven vibration. How do we come up with that? Well, we take the year we're in, which is an eight vibration, and you add it to the month that we're in. So eight plus eight is 16, six plus one is seven. That makes the month of August in 2024 a seven universal vibration. So that seven universal month in numerology is inviting us all to delve deeply into introspection, spirituality, and personal growth. The number seven is a very powerful symbol used for inner wisdom, contemplation, and enlightenment. The seven vibration also holds in the quest of deeper truths. That's what's going to make this month really interesting to say the least. Deeper truths within ourselves, but also when it comes to truth in the world. So allow yourself to slow down, friends, because there's going to be lots of delays with that Mercury retrograde. So slow down in the month of August. Breathe. Take time to meditate. 
Take time to connect with nature. Allow yourself to slow down and, and do that. It's definitely still in that vibration of nurturing ourselves like we were meant to do in July, but even more so in the month of August. And if you don't nurture yourself, the universe is going to come along and smack you silly. And then before you know it, you're going to be laid up because you pulled out your back or you got the flu or something else going on. So take time. Take time to reflect on your life, to reflect on your journey when we're in that seven vibration. Connect with your inner self and seek the answers. Because remember, all the answers lie right there within us, friends. Right there within are the answers. So you just got to quiet yourself down, connect with nature, and you will definitely benefit from the seven vibration that's happening in the month of August. Be sure to embrace the stillness and the solitude that August brings, allowing yourself to, again, meditate, journal, explore your spiritual path, allow your spiritual path to open up even more. Trust in your intuition, as you always should, but definitely when we're in that seven vibration, your intuitive abilities are going to heighten quite a bit, and even more so with the energy shifts and all that are coming in around the full moon on August 19th. So uh, let your intuition be your guide. Let your intuition guide you towards better understanding and to clarity and all the answers that you seek, again, lie right there within yourself. So this is a time for learning. So taking a class, taking a course, learning, gaining insight, along with discovering the deeper meaning of our experiences. So embrace this journey and learn to grow and to deepen your understanding of yourself and, of course, the world that surrounds us. Let the month of August be a sacred month of self-discovery and a sacred month of spiritual awareness and spiritual awakenings because definitely we're going to see some major awakenings happening within ourselves and with the entire planet in the month of August, which is really going to be quite exciting might be a bit challenging, but still overall, it's going to be very, very exciting. August is a sacred period of self-discovery and enlightenment. So embrace the magic of the number seven, friends. Embrace that magic and allow yourself to transform your life in profound and in very meaningful ways. The seven vibration of August will indeed shift and challenge your belief system. The seven vibration is all about the shifts in our consciousness and the shifts in our beliefs. You could be totally believing that you're on this side of the fence and you're never going to climb that fence to the other side. And before you know it, the end of August and that seven vibration comes to a close and you're on the other side of the fence. Like, wow, don't ever underestimate the power and vibration of the number seven and how it's so powerful in shifting what people believe in. That's why August is going to be a huge awakening period. Once again, because we have that seven vibration, not only that, the eight year of infinite, unlimited possibilities, we also have the retrograde energy shifts and all this astrological stuff aligning up in the month of August that is definitely going to highlight our, our beliefs. And not only that, it highlights the skies above. Remember, it was Jesus Christ who said in the Holy Bible that signs would appear in the heavens and friends. The month of August is certainly a month in which we will likely see many, many, many signs in the heavens and in the skies above. Everything from UFOs, unidentified flying objects, USOs, or whatever else they call them nowadays. Very, very interesting and odd phenomenon happening in our skies that you'll see going viral all over the internet in the month of August. We will also see other events taking place in the skies when it comes to airplanes and perhaps even the large spaceship over the city that I saw in past visions. Perhaps several big spaceships over several big cities. August in that seven vibration would definitely be a time in which we could see that. Not only that, we could also see major missiles being, you know, flying through the skies, unfortunately. Lots of conflict. Not the seven vibration is about conflict, but we're still pointing to the skies. And of course, you know, missiles and, and boom booms come from the skies and from airplanes. So therefore, unfortunately, we will see a lot of that. And I'll talk more about that in my very specific predictions later in the broadcast. Now, these are the important do's and don'ts of the seven vibration to help you navigate through the month of August with 
ease and with joy. Starting with the do's and the things that we really, really need to focus on, starting with meditation. Meditation is an important practice. People have asked me throughout my decades of doing this, where, oh, how can I do that and how can I connect with spirit? And the answer is always the same. Meditation is the key. Meditation is the key to con connecting with our guides, connecting to God, the divine, and so on. So take time to meditate when we're in the seven vibration. Not only that, there's going to be a lot of light codes and things coming down that we need to absorb. And that really, sometimes the only way to absorb it is through meditation, like the Lion's Gate opening that comes on August 8th. You're going to want to meditate. Otherwise, it's not going to do you any good unless you actually tap into those energies. So remember, one of the do's of the month of August is do meditate. And also, do find solitude. We need to unplug. I enjoy my solitude. I actually really enjoy my own company quite well, actually. <laughs> and that's part, partly a Virgo trait, perhaps, and other traits, Cancer Moon, who knows. But I like my solitude. Sometimes we can't find solitude. You got kids, you got a family. Find solitude, friends. Find solitude. Go out into the forest or the woods and connect with nature and just find some solitude because in solitude, you'll find a deeper connection to your intuition. Another big do is to seek knowledge. The seven vibrations all about seeking knowledge and wisdom and embracing and absorbing more knowledge and wisdom. So engage in learning or, or study or expand your wisdom in some way or another, whether it's reading a book or, again, taking a course or exploring any kind of new subject. Seven Vibrations all about that. And another thing the Seven Vibrations all about is your intuition, of course. The Seven's mentioned all throughout the Holy Bible. The Seven is powerful, and it's a powerful way of accessing and increasing your intuitive abilities. So remember, in August, listen to your inner voice. Listen to your intuition. That intuition is coming from a source that sources your spirit guides. Your spirit guides are going to be much louder in the month of August. But you still got to sit back and listen to what they're saying. So pay attention to that intuition. Also, engage in spiritual practices. Again, the seven was sacred all throughout the Holy Bible. It's all about our spiritual connections and our own personal spiritual practices, whatever that may be, that feels comfortable for you. So spend time in spiritual activities that resonate with you, whether it be doing some yoga, doing some prayer, some ceremonies, some energy healing, whatever works for you, but get it to work in the month of August. Journal and journal your thoughts. Really important. Write things down. I've seen this consistently come up in clients' readings over the past week the writer's card and telling people to write things down and to journal and so forth. It's come up even today with a client earlier this, after, this morning. So definitely you're going to want to journal and you're going to want to journal your thoughts. Write down your thoughts, write down your dreams, and write down your insights for better understanding. And write down what you want to manifest or what you already manifested in the future. Remember, when we write things down, we're empowering it. We're empowering those words by writing those words down. So be sure to take writing and your journal into the forest for some solitude when we're in the seven vibration of August. And lastly, the seven vibration, one thing you definitely got to do is set boundaries. Respect your need for personal space. Let others respect your need for your own personal space, especially even again if you have kids and a family. Have time where your hubby goes away for an hour and then you go away for an hour. Trade spots. Be fair. Do things that way. Uh, respect and set boundaries. Very, very important. And protect your energy. Energy is going to be flying all over the place like crazy tsunami waves. Grab your surfboard. Ride those tsunami waves of energy. And keep yourself protected from the sharks that are around your surfboard. And you'll make it through just fine. The things you definitely want to avoid, the things you do not want to do when you are in the seven vibration in the month of August. Avoid over socializing. Don't over socialize. We got that Mercury retrograde coming in that causes lots of communication issues. People like to blab and yab, and you know how it goes. So just refrain from any excessive socializing or engaging in activities that are going to drain your energy. 
keep your energy intact. If it's going to drain your energy and other people drain your energy, stay away. Do less people during the month of August. Also, again, do not ignore your intuition. So one of the do's is to tap into your intuition. So we definitely do not want to ignore our intuition. Ignoring your intuition, discarding it, and discarding your gut feelings is going to sabotage your month. You want to make the great out of the month of August. And you want to make the best out of the opportunities that it presents. And the seven definitely presents lots of opportunities. Don't, whatever you do, neglect self-care. We should never neglect self-care. But when we're in the seven vibration, you definitely don't want to neglect self-care at all. So and part of your self-care is getting solitude. Remember that. So avoid neglecting your physical and your emotional well-being. And your self-care is essential to maintaining balance in the month of August. Do not, especially with the Mercury retrograde, do not rush into decisions, friends. Don't. You shouldn't rush into decisions anyway. When you rush into decisions in the Mercury retrograde and that seven vibration at the same time, oh, you're going to hit a brick wall, friends. Don't run into it. Don't, don't make hasty decisions without really considering them thoroughly. Remember, Mercury retrograde, do not make big decisions. Do not start new things. Not a good time to sign papers or contracts. So you want to avoid all those things, including rushing into decisions. And do not resist the solitude. I can't stress enough that solitude gives us peace of mind and in solitude is when we can meditate. And sometimes meditation is just as simple as just sitting down by the water, just focusing on your breath and gazing out at the waters in nature. That's quite a peaceful meditation. With your eyes open, we can do that. And we can meditate with our eyes open. It's just getting that solitude that's really important. So do not resist the solitude and stay surface level. Staying surface level, meaning don't be shying away from exploring your deeper meanings and your truths and your experiences and your relationships. Lots of exploration when it comes to relationships in the month of August. So lastly, you do not want to overwhelm yourself. Again, it's retrograde and all these energies coming in. Overwhelming yourself, you're going to be overwhelmed with the energies. So don't give the energies more things to overwhelm yourself with. So just stay away from things. Avoid taking on too many responsibilities. Just, just lay low. That's the better, better word. Lay low in the month of August. Lay low. Don't take on too many responsibilities. Don't take on too many commitments. Say no when you want to say no. When someone asks you to do something, don't feel obligated. If your kid's asking you to babysit your grandkid and you're not up to babysitting your grandkid, you're not obligated. Say no. Get another babysitter. Sometimes you just got to say no, friends. You know, and I know some moms out there have a really hard time saying no, especially when it comes to babysitting their grandkids or their kids or whatever. Sometimes you just got to say no, especially in the month of August. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. And if you do, you're going to end up regretting it. So let the energy of the seven universal month of August help to guide you towards a deeper connection with yourself, with the universe, and of course, with your intuition. Embrace the journey within, friends, and trust the process of spiritual and personal growth. Hallelujah. Now, let us peer into the stars and see what Western astrology has in store for us in August so that you can navigate August with ease and joy and take it upon any opportunity that presents itself. Starting with the first opportunity on August 4th, where we have two alignments happening. First, we have Venus entering Virgo. And we also have the new moon in Leo. The new moon, of course, is all about setting our intentions. And as Venus enters Virgo on August 4th, this is going to encourage us to refine our relationships to refine our relationships and seek harmony through practical acts of love and kindness. Should be a great time to see many people expressing that love and kindness. And again, on the same day, we have the new moon in Leo, inviting us to set bold intentions and embrace our inner light. It's a time to reignite our passions and step into the authentic power and to do so with courage and to do so with creativity. I have a video, a meditation, stepping into your power. You should check it out so that you, again, can step into your power on August 4th and take advantage of that new moon and Venus entering Virgo. 
On August 5th, we step into that first tsunami wave of energy, the Mercury retrograde entering direct into the sign of Virgo. And when Mercury retrograde moves into Virgo, we are going to be recalled to revisit and reassess everything when it comes to our routines, to our health habits, and to our work processes. It's going to be very interesting. And this period, starting on August 5th, is all about decluttering, all about cleaning out the closets, friends, getting rid of that stuff, donate stuff to those in need, reorganize, fine-tune all the details in your life. That's what this retrograde's all about. Remember, it's not a good time to start new things or sign papers or contracts, but it's a great time to pick up things that you started and get them done, finish them, to, again, reorganize, paint the house, or re-change around the furniture, or what have you. Also, remember, be patient, because communication mishaps and technical glitches, glitches, <laughs> glitches, 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 <laughs> technical glitches are through the roof when it goes to retrograde. And that's the only thing we can't control, because I used to dread retrogrades back in the day until I learned to utilize them to my advantage. The only thing you can't control, of course, is when things go down, electronics, motorized stuff, and communication issues. You can send somebody a text. I remember this happened to me. Totally like, hey, how you doing? And they totally twisted and said, oh, your message sounds aggressive. I'm like, how are you doing today? Sounds aggressive. <laughs> okay. But that's Mercury Retrograde does that. People totally twist things around because they're probably dealing with emotions because the retrograde brings up a lot of emotions. So be aware that all comes rolling in. On August 5th. On August 14th, we're going to see an alignment that is very rare that I haven't remember witnessing in a long time anyway. And that's when Mercury retrograde goes from Virgo and enters into Leo. So it starts off in the pre-shadow in Leo, which we were in the end of all July, early August. Then it goes direct on the 5th into Virgo. But on August 14th, Mercury retrograde enters Leo. And Mars and Gemini conjunct Jupiter and Gemini. So what an intense time period that's going to be, friends. So as Mercury retrograde re-enters Leo, it's going to encourage us to revisit our creative projects and to rethink how we express ourselves, how you come across to others. It's a very powerful time for self-reflection and for refining your own personal narratives. The conjunction of Mars and Jupiter in Gemini is going to bring about a big energy boost. So tap into that energy when it comes flowing in, friends. Big energy boost. And that energy boost is going to inspire us all to take very big, bold actions. We'll see that in the world, friends. You'll see big, bold actions happening. Like, for example, this is just an example. You could see China going into Taiwan on August 14th. That would be a big surprise now, wouldn't it? And that would be something different. So remember that it's going to inspire people to take bold moves. And that's a bold move. That's not saying that all these bold moves are positive bold moves. Make sure that the bold moves that you make in your life are positive, of course. But also to pursue our goals and to do so with enthusiasm and optimism. This is a dynamic alignment that comes in on August 14th. So take advantage of it. And focus on, you know, you're going to see your curiosity starting to peak around certain areas. So delve into those curiosities. Go down those rabbit holes if you're being called by the rabbit to go down. You'll be glad you did. On August 19th, hold on tight, friends, because that's when the big tsunami wave of energy comes flowing in, along with the full moon in the sign of Aquarius. So when we're in that direct retrograde and the full moon comes along, we have that big tsunami wave. I've been talking about this for over 15 years. And every time we go through that energy shift, big things happen. Big events occur. They happen right before and right after too. But that 14 days from the full moon on the 19th of August, taking us to the day before the new moon, which would be in early September. That is the energy shift. Usually lasts between 13 and 15 days. I think this one's 14 days. So that full moon in Aquarius Positive things too, of course. Full moon's going to illuminate our need for innovation, community, and freedom. So freedoms are going to ring high right around that full moon on the 19th. That's going to be interesting, friends. I could see lots of people taking to the streets around that time period, especially here in the United States, but other places, UK and other places as well. 
So it's time to celebrate our unique individuality when we get to that full moon in Aquarius on the 19th, while recognizing the power of our collective efforts. The illumination that is coming from this full moon is going to encourage us to break free from old patterns, from old habits, and to hopefully embrace progressive changes. On August 19th, we have that huge tsunami wave. So get your surfboards waxed and ready to go, friends. This is the next big energy shift that comes rolling in. These energy shifts I've been talking about for over 15 years. Spirit pointed this out to me way back, showing that during these big cycles of retrogrades, the full moon activates this energy wave, that 14 to 15 day energy shift coming in on the 19th. That is the full moon in the sign of Aquarius. The full moon in Aquarius is going to illuminate our need for innovation, community, and freedom. Freedom is going to ring high around the full moon. So I would expect people to take to the streets over the rights and freedoms here in the United States, other countries too, the UK and parts of Africa. It's going to be interesting. Not only that, it's a time to celebrate our unique individuality while recognizing the power of our collective efforts. This illumination of the full moon is going to encourage us to break free from old patterns and embrace progressive changes that benefit the greater good. Reflect on how you can contribute to your community and make a positive impact on others. Remember, the full moon is also all about getting rid of and letting go of. So that's why it makes a perfect time to break free from old patterns habits, addictions, and so forth. And it's an energy shift and retrogrades all about getting rid of and letting go of. So if you wanted to quit smoking or even lose weight or anything like that, that is the day to set that goal on that full moon and make it happen. Get rid of, let go of, shed it, baby, shed it. You'll be glad you did. On August 22nd, that Master 22 day, we have the sun entering Virgo. We are going to be shifting our focus from practical matters to the pursuit of excellence when we hit that sun in Virgo. Perfect time to get organized, to pay attention to the details of things, the very fine details, and to strive for improvement in all areas of our lives. And beings, it's all about, again, fine details. We're going to see fine details coming out with different things globally. For example, fine details coming out about the truth of the attempt on Donald Trump's life. So we're going to see some fine details and truth coming out in the month of August revolved around that. But again, going back to benefiting from this on a personal level, the Virgo energy is going to help you to support adopting healthier habits, enhancing your skills, serving others with humility and with dedication and getting things done and doing so in a very creative way. Love Virgo season, especially beans. I'm a Virgo. On August 28th, many people are going to be celebrating because we have Mercury direct in Leo, which basically means the direct Mercury retrograde energy shift is beginning to come to a close. We step into the post shadow of Mercury retrograde. So that Mercury retrograde effects will still shadow us until early September, until I think the 7th or 8th or somewhere in early September. So we're still in it, technically, but we're really coming out of it. So on August 28th, when it goes direct in Leo, we're going to begin to see the communications flow beginning to improve quite a bit. We're going to be able to move forward and do so with greater clarity and more confidence and this is a great time to begin to really express ourselves and to do so in a new, renewed, creative way. Express ourselves to the world. Express yourself. Do so and start it on August 28th. On August 29th, we have Venus entering into Libra. And that is going to bring about a nice, harmonious, and balanced energy that we're really going to need, especially when it comes to relationships. This transit is going to highlight the importance of cooperation, fairness, and the beauty of our interactions. Remember, previous to this, there's a lot of communication issues and such. This time, especially when we reach the Venus into Libra, is going to bring things to a more peaceful realm, to a more balanced energy. Something that we're definitely going to need and definitely are going to see and hopefully appreciate as well. So seek harmony and fostering connections with others that help you uplift yourself and get out there and help uplift others. 
Perfect timing as August begins to come to a close. August is a month that is rich with transformative energies. Transformative energies that are inviting all of us to grow, to reflect, and to evolve. So from the meticulous influence of Virgo to the bold and creative fire of Leo, we are supported in our journey towards self-improvement and authentic expression when it comes to the vibrations flowing in in the month of August. A great month indeed if you make it a great month. It's up to you. So embrace the lessons and the opportunities that August is going to offer up. Let the celestial alignments in the skies above help guide you towards a more harmonious and more enlightened path. And may the stars be with you. Before I move on to some specific predictions and visions from my team of divine spirit guides, I want to first welcome you to my channel, back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Joseph Tittle, aka Spirit Man JT. I welcome you with infinite love and gratitude. If you want accurate predictions, prophecy, truth, and great content, and you want to vibe with this tribe, please do smash that subscribe, hit the bell, hit all so that you get notifications, and know that you can catch me every Tuesday for Tuesday's Tittle Tea Time Predictions Update, where we talk about world events, how they may or may not relate to world predictions and prophecy, along with new predictions each and every Tuesday. So be sure to check it out. Check your notifications. If you don't see me, go directly to my page. Also, thanks for showing your love and support by clicking that thumbs up love button. It takes a lot of time, a lot of energy to put this content together for you. Free content, I might add. And I thank all of those supporters who make this free content possible for everybody else. Whether you're a member down below, a member of my Subscribe Star Awaken Your Spirit community, the contributions that come in in all different ways, links are down below as well. I couldn't do it without you. I thank you with infinite love and gratitude. Lastly, sign up for my free newsletter down below. You'll find the link to my newsletter along with every month, the beginning of the month, you'll get the numerology, astrology all written in the newsletter for you so that you have it along with all my content, private sessions, classes, all that in my newsletter. It's free. Sign up down below. And you can find out more information about me at josephtittle.com or spearmanjt.com. Let us move on to some specific predictions for August 2024. As I move on now to some specific predictions and visions shared with me by my team of divine spirit guides, first I want to remind you that putting a time or a specific timeline on some predictions and visions is extremely challenging and therefore we don't put specific dates and times on certain predictions. Although there are dates at the end of every forecast that jump out at me and dates that I do put out. But other than that, some of these events and some of these predictions that I put out coming up for the month of August may mostly take place in the month of August. But some of them, just because they don't happen in the month of August, do not rule them out completely. Keep them in mind because some predictions take a little bit longer to play out than others. Last month's forecast, I stated that July was going to be a month in 2024 that was actually going to truly ignite things on a scale unlike anything we could have ever imagined. Both shocking and not so shocking events that will have us questioning everything, questioning things in our personal lives, along with questioning everything occurring in the world, from the political structure, the economy, and the way governments globally are behaving. Well, that's exactly what played out in the month of July. So what does that mean now? Now that brings us to what July did. It ignited, right? July was the month of ignitions. It ignited. Now the fireworks are going to blow. Wildfires are going to burn on like anything you could imagine, both physically and metaphorically speaking, of course. On a physical level, I'm going to take you back to the date, August 8th. 2023. Do you remember what happened? I know a lot of people do. August 8th is always represented by the lion in the lion's gate, a portal, a portal that is surrounded by fire. Every year I did one last year, I did a lion's gate activation meditation. As I said earlier, you can't take advantage of these energies if you don't sit back and absorb them through meditation and through ceremony or what have you. So that's why I do one, and I will do one this year too. It was on August 8th, 2023, that we saw wildfires sweeping through Lahaina, Hawaii. 
which had the world totally questioning the entire event and still questioning the entire event. This was done on purpose. You know, many people believe it was done on purpose. Did they pour Mountain Dew from the sky above to ignite it, if you know what I mean? The story goes on and on, and there's been many stories about it. Very sad and tragic story. But that's what happened on August 8th of last year. No coincidence, that's the Lion's Gate represented by fire. Lahaina is one of the places, of course, whether you know it or not, the elite, WEF, whatever you want to refer to them as, want to build their future prisons. Future prisons that they are conveniently calling smart cities. A term, of course, used to trick the masses into believing that it's all for the better, right? So the August 8th portal... The Lions Gate portal. It's a real thing, friends. It's a real thing and a very powerful portal. And of course, the elite are going to use that like they use all dates and things to their advantage. And the elite use dates to do things like ceremonial dates of sacrifice. They use dates for things like that, mainly for that. So it would make sense that they would use fire, of course, and the date 88, the Lions Gate fire portal opening to conduct such a ceremonial, dark ceremony, ritual, or a sacrifice, or whatever you want to refer to it as. Because that's basically what played out last year. Sacrifice to their dark overlords. So in July, we have seen so many more fires igniting on the physical level globally, including in Hawaii, has fires burning all over, California, Canada, including the Jasper fires, which very much resemble the Lahaina fires, with including things blue surviving the fire, and also resembling very closely the past California fires. You know, the ones in Oprah's neighborhood, where her house was fine, and all the rest weren't. So, Spirit has continued to show me that fire is going to be one of the elements being used by the psychopathic people that are at the top to push their agendas. So be aware, friends, that another city will burn, just like Lahaina did in 2023. And I strongly feel that they are going to use the same date to ignite such a fire, a new fire. August 8th, to be specific, I believe, and I'll say it straight up, I believe that on August 8th, they are going to ignite another big fire like Lahaina fire in Hawaii in 2023. So as if, you know, and it's going to be interesting because it's going to be as if they turned on the ceiling fans. If you know what I mean. All of a sudden, they turn on the ceiling fans and the fire ignites. Uh, right before, you know, they're going to turn on the ceiling fans right before they drink their Mountain Dews. If you know what I mean. So watch the date, friends. August 8th. Very, very closely. So this year's Lionsgate portal is going to be the most powerful one in nine years. Why? Well, the reason being is that we are in an eight vibrational year in 2024. So therefore... This year's Lion's Gate is going to be the 888, the universal angelic number of the triple eights. So according to Spirit, it's going to be even more powerful than the last one, which occurred on August 8th, 2015. So this is going to affect the economy big time. Therefore, I would expect big changes in the markets right before, on, and after the 8th of August. Be sure to watch my channel very, very closely again because I will be posting a very powerful guided meditation for the 888, the triple eight portal opening. That's exciting. So tapping into this portal this year is super powerful, friends. I can't stress to you. And it can be literally life-changing if you allow it to be. But it's only going to be useful. It will be useless if you're not there for it. So if you go about your day, and you ignore the whole amazing opportunity, it's not going to do anything for you. It will have a pattern and a vibration that hits the earth, of course, and the economy. But the meditation that I'm going to do is also going to assist your vibration and your frequency in turn opening up to a more consistent flow of abundance, joy, and happiness in your life. You're not going to want to miss that meditation. I'll try to remember to get it out on the 7th. And United States date the 7th, the day before, because I know some of you in different countries are ahead of us by a day. So, and I want you to be able to do that meditation on the 8th to activate it. So, shall we move on? The month of August is going to have you questioning absolutely everything when it comes to your own beliefs. We're going to witness so many folks 
completely, literally flip-flopping their belief system. You'll even see people flip-flopping the candidates that they chose completely and throwing aside the ones they previously supported. The seventh vibration of August in the realm of numerology is all about driving truth to the surface, really driving truth to the surface, which is going to be an understatement with that Mercury retrograde influence. And then we have that energy shift tsunami coming in on August 19th full moon. Boy, oh boy, all these factors, friends, are all about truth, our beliefs, and spiritual ascension as well. So remember, the seven is the most sacred number when it comes to reference in the Holy Bible. It's referenced all throughout. Seven aligns with heaven, baby. So therefore, as Jesus forewarned, signs will appear in the heavens. So therefore, expect there to be a whole lot more very unusual amounts and very unusual events of objects and phenomenon happening in our skies. Being captured on video and seeing so many of these videos going viral in the month of August and even early September. My past vision and prediction from channel predictions back in early July of a really large spaceship over a, over a city, even though I did say, and I got to remind you that that's technology, it's not real. Remind the people. Don't let the people think it's real. It's not real. But regardless, again, changing your belief system, making you believe you're seeing something that's not really there. So perhaps several cities seeing this big spaceship up above. The seven vibration of August would make sense that that would be a potential time for such an event to occur. Likely August with that seven vibration again. We're also going to hear more about aliens, alleged aliens, and other strange creatures being caught on video in August. Some, of course, are going to be fakes. That's the big thing now with AI. Some will be fakes. But it's going to be the strangest one, Spirit said, being called fakes that are actually going to be 100% real. So again, the ones that, 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 the strangest ones, the strangest ones of all that are being called fakes are going to be the ones that are 100% real. That is going to be interesting. Not just only unusual sky events and phenomena that I just mentioned, but also more incidents and accidents when it comes to the skies. We have already witnessed this year, as Spirit told us in my 2024 world predictions, so many incidents and accidents around aeroplanes, airports, and other flying vehicles like helicopters. So many friends. And now I see a vision of an airport runway being shut down due to an investigation needing to be taken after one plane clips another. Now, if you remember, I saw a vision of um, a plane colliding on a runway and predicted that that would come. And it did like a month later. It happened in Japan shortly after I made that prediction. Well, sadly, I see another Several close calls, of course, but I see one plane clipping the top back wing of another that I don't even know what you call that top back wing, but in my vision, I saw it take off that wing. That was a close call. I saw another plane, a uh, close call, but I also saw a collision that involves three planes, and I believe I might have saw this last month, and we're still waiting and hoping that doesn't come into fruition, but three planes, and this could actually be something that shuts it all down. And could potentially reoccur in Japan. So we already seen many issues with airplanes, cyber attacks, and flights being canceled in record amounts. But August, friends, is sure to beat all the past records completely. When it comes to cancellations, another major massive cyber attack, leaving folks stranded at airports and stranded at other places, bus stations for days, not just in the United States either, friends. I see major problems in cyber attacks hitting Australia, the UK, France, and Canada. So no one's safe at this point when it comes to that, especially United States and ally countries. Line them all up because they're in the line of the cyber attackers. I feel that this plane is being, I saw this plane being taken over by remote control, like a hack attack on a plane itself. It was really weird to me, friends. I saw the pilots puzzled, like they had lost, they couldn't do anything, and they looked puzzled. And then they had this fear on their, you know, fear in their eyes, like, oh my God, what's going on here? And then I, they had no control. And then I heard a strange voice come in over their headsets. 
a strange voice, and this strange voice sounded like it was of a Middle Eastern accent, a very thick Middle Eastern accent. And this is a hijacking, except the hijackers aren't on the plane. They're on the ground. And I don't know, know the fate of the airplane. Spirit didn't show me the fate of the airplane. I could easily guess. We could all easily guess. Oh, we pray for them. It does not feel very positive. And the voice coming again on the headset was a very thick Middle Eastern accent. This could be a plane coming or going from India to the Middle East. Because India popped in my mind, but of course, the Middle East and a very thick Middle East accent. Let us move on. The threat of conflict and sudden fear attacks on the innocent are at an all-time high energetically in the month of August, unfortunately. I previously predicted earlier this year, before I realized the Olympics were going to be in Paris, that there was going to be major fear and cyber attacks happening in Paris, and I did mention the month of August. And again, this was before I even knew that there were going to be Olympics held there in August. So we saw that actually play out right before the Olympics even started in, in Paris at the end of July. They, before they even started, the attacks on trains and things happened. And then right as it started, the big blackouts that occurred and the city going dark, all this happened. And of course, they'll say it's some kind of glitch in the system when we know exactly what it is. Like the big outage in the United States at the end of July saying it was a glitch in their update. That was such a lie, friends. You got to tune into your intuition and realize that they don't want you to know for whatever reason. So we saw that all play out at the Olympics, just as predicted, and I stated August would be the month. Well, so far, friends, Paris has already been hit before we even got into the month of August. So if you're in Paris, be very mindful of your surroundings because I feel... The same globally, no matter where you're at, be very mindful of your surroundings. And I see many attacks coming in the month of August, many attacks. And I saw large explosions happening in Paris. I saw this over a year ago. Again, before that, I saw fire around the Eiffel Tower. And this was, again, well over a year ago in my prediction. So you got to go back. You got to keep up. You got to subscribe and keep up with what I'm saying. So on the subject of attacks... Not just for Paris. I feel attacks are coming on public transportation, especially in Europe between Germany and Poland. I predict years ago that Poland would be pulled into the conflict with Russia. This time is also approaching according to Spirit. But Spirit also warns to be aware of flags that fly ever so falsely, as we say. I see so many issues around transportation. And remember, Mercury retrograde has a huge influence over transportation and communications. So expect there to be big delays, no matter where you're going and how you're going. Just know and expect there to be delays so when there are, you're not overwhelmed or dealing with anxiety because you're delayed when you're traveling. I see record amount of outages from airlines, buses, and even trains. I see a blackout occurring in what appears to be a subway system. I see people stuck in the subway and walking on the tracks like with little flashlights with their phones in the dark. I see this maybe being in Japan, but I also see this same scenario playing out in several different places, and I believe New York will be one of them as well. Governments are going to continue to attempt to lie. Oh, Chicago, too. Watch Chicago subways, Spirit said. Watch the Chicago subways. That's not in any notes. Governments are going to continue to attempt to lie about these cyber attacks, calling them glitches and software updates. The subways going dark are going to be obviously an attack, according to Spirit. Both a cyber attack shutting down the system, but I also saw a vision of smoke and some other attack occurring at the same time. It's as if like somebody's you know, behind the computer taking out the power while the group of, of attackers are inside waiting, to, waiting for the dark. Yeah, that's a way of saying it. Waiting for it to go dark. That's not good. As if they planned it. You know, they planned to cut the power and then act as soon as the power was cut to further their agenda of fear. Russia comes to mind very strongly, so I feel that Russia is going to be enduring fear-related attacks on their transportation systems in August. 
At the same time, Spirit shows me that there are so many white flags that are flying with the word false written upon them. I see a bunch of these flags, friends, six, perhaps seven of these flags. Most, if not all, of these coming flags are meant to escalate situations while igniting at least two new conflicts. Blame it on someone else. You know, like what happened back in 2001 in the United States. I see three explosive devices being planted. And I had visions of this. I saw one of these devices. And this goes back to a past prediction, friends. I said this a couple months ago. I believe it could have been a month ago, but I think it was a couple months ago. Where I saw, I was at an airport, remember? And I saw the, the explosive device being placed in a suitcase. And I saw... The person like that does the scanning of the suitcase being in on it like they knew each other to make sure it could go through it was like people that worked at the airport were purposely making sure this was able to go through so you remember that so spirit reminded me of that so i went and for you folks that are new here to the tribe sometimes spirit brings up past predictions because we're getting closer to them coming into fruition and often because i also get more details about them so this particular case, I would think this is coming closer to this boom boom being placed on luggage in an aeroplane. An aeroplane. So I saw people at the airport, again, that were in on this attack. And I was definitely somewhere in the Middle East where it was being planted into the suitcase. Now I see another one being planted on luggage and placed on a bus, in a bus, in one of those bus little things. And then I saw another, and I think that might be in Israel. And then I see another being placed on a train. And specifically, I saw it being placed either the third train in from the back or the fourth train. So I'm going to go with the fourth because it was like three. So if I was three from the rear, then that would be the fourth train in. So fourth train in is where it was. And these could be potentially happen on the same day, perhaps, or close together in timing. Very interesting. In the United States, with Joe Biden pretty much being out of the picture completely, really completely out of the picture, and that last time we saw him, we know that wasn't him. I mean, look at the legs. He don't have long legs like that. We know they've been faking us with their fakes for so long now, and he's pretty much out of the picture. They pushed Harris right in there, and Harris is acting like she's the president already. I would find that she's probably likely going to be taking the oath that I saw her taking years ago. I said that I saw her taking an oath for a very short period of time. And if that's not in August, then definitely in October. But Harris is definitely pushing her way up there. They're pushing, they're pushing her up there because nobody voted her there. She was put there. There's a difference, which is really unfair if you think about it. So this is making the entire country of the United States appear to be very weak right now. So Russia, China, and Iran, even North Korea, do not, well, not North Korea, but they're part of the four, but as far as not wanting Trump in, North Korea, that guy's obsessed by Trump. He wants him. Kim Jong-un wants him. But when it comes to China, Iran, and Russia, no, they do not want him. They fear him for whatever reason. So therefore, I feel that they are going to plan some type of an attack on the United States. Before the elections, as I've been saying for a while now, well over a year, I think even two years I've been saying this, and likely this could come in the month of August. So it could start in August, start to ignite these attacks. I still say October is going to be the biggest month of all, of all shocking months. But it all really starts to set off those fireworks right now in the month, month of August. December is going to be the fireworks uh, finale. That'll be in December. But the fireworks are, are blasting now in the month of August. It's going to be interesting. And the United States really should be having our borders lined with the military and our ocean you know, shorelines guarded by our Navy right now because that's how vulnerable the United States is right now. And I saw and stated, again, a few years back, in visions, channeled predictions, one of them was from October of last year, multiple attacks happening in multiple places at the same exact time. Like attacking three cities in the United States at one time while attacking Paris and allies at the same time. I saw multiple explosions happening simultaneously or very close in proximity with each other 
And I feel like we're coming up on that, and that could be this month in August. So prayers for all of us, because all of us need it, no matter where you live in the world. And remember, don't be scared. Be prepared. I saw this over a year ago, where we were shown that religious structures, churches, mosques, synagogues, and such were going to become huge targets. Big targets. Which they were that was in my January world predictions for 2023 where I said that. And then look what happened in October of 2023 and so forth. And we have seen many different types of attacks on such structures. Well, as this month of August ignites, and it is all about a focus on that seven vibration of spirituality, that also outlines religion too, of course. So religion, spirituality, and religious places like mosques, synagogues, and churches are going to be a huge focus. So Spirit shows me a much larger attack coming against mainly Christian churches, pastors, and Jewish rabbis and synagogues. That big one. And this is definitely something being orchestrated by Iran um, and, and their, their radicals. Mossad, that's part of them, says Spirit. So big, big things. They're going to become a big, big target. They already are, not become, and they already are the target. And not long ago in channel sessions, I kept seeing Martin Luther King, remember, in my visions. And, and I interpreted that as a sign of a religious leader that was going to be taken out. Perhaps several, actually, and I'm going to go with the several. So August is certainly a month where we are going to see people reacting on their negative emotions, mainly their negative emotion of anger and hatred. So in turn, this is going to make sudden less people like that are going to make very sudden, very less than smart decisions, very le less than smart decisions such as harming other individuals. So, you know, churches, lock your doors during services, You're probably safer. So with the energies being so intense in the month of August, bringing up so many emotions for all of us, it is inevitable that we are going to witness several large pow-pow events taking place, including more attempts on taking out leaders, some event that brings thousands of people to the streets in protest. I'm not sure what that event is, but some type of an event that angers the people. Now, what comes to mind is, again, a past prediction where I said earlier this year that we were going to see during the summer months another George Floyd type of an event where they take to the streets and start causing, you know, looting and give them a reason to steal stuff. I would look for that in the month of August. That might even be a, igniting now to that woman that was shot by the police officer. And they did lock him up where he belongs could be something different though and i'm thinking it's probably going to be something different that what happened that woman is just igniting a little bit but there's something else that's going to ignite it and that's likely why i see people in the streets but i see people in the streets of the uk and i see people getting very angry in in canada of course that's going to be related to trudeau he's got to go 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 trudeau <laughs> uh so we're gonna see a lot of taking in the streets and countries all over the globe in the month of august moving forward towards the latter part of the year too but again the fireworks show is just starting in the month of august thousands of people taking to the streets august is going to be an eye opener and we can only pray that folks do not overreact do not overreact to their emotions otherwise it's going to become very dangerous vibrations so don't overreact when you're taken to the streets. I also see a church or a religious building being invaded by, by men with pow pals during some type of a service or an event. I also see them holding the hostages. The number 11 is connected to this somehow. So I don't know if it's 11 hostages or it's on the date the 11th. I'm not sure. Something to keep an eye out for. Spirit shows me water in so many different forms. When I tune into August vibration, I see visions of oceans. Then I see ripples on the surface from activities beneath the sea. I have visions of rough seas, multiple hurricanes out at sea at once, both the Pacific and the Atlantic. I see massive storms coming off the Indian Ocean and more and more water. Spirit shows me Calm rivers suddenly overflowing out of nowhere and another dam beginning to burst at its seams from floodwaters. 
I see a damn crack and I see moments later a tsunami wave of energy comes bursting through the dam, crashing concrete into little rocks. I see homes being washed away from this dam break and I see waters going far, so far that they wash across the land to another body of water. I see extreme heat and drought, people very hot, India, Middle East and others. I see dark black clouds that appear as if they're being sent straight down from the heavens. I see huge water spouts with rains and hail that cover the ground. The desert sands turn to rivers and so many are swept away by the coming storms. The biggest storms of the century. I see waves hitting coastlines and this reminds me of past visions and predictions from October of last year, a major earthquake hitting beneath the Pacific. I saw a volcano erupting beneath the waters, and I saw a crack forming beneath the surface, bringing about massive earthquakes and huge waves, hitting at least seven countries' coastlines, according to Spirit. So if you want to know more about what I predicted for weather, and I channeled all that through, obviously, because I had to read it to you, but I channeled that all through sitting there. It was quite interesting, actually. Automatic writing is how we would uh, put that one. That was all through automatic writing. So if you want to know more about what I predict when it comes to weather, the big earthquake that's going to be hitting the West Coast of the United States and Canada, all the way up from Alaska down to California, San Francisco, all these predictions that I made that I believe are coming into fruition very, very soon. The three potential months is August, October, and December. August being the most potential, I would say. So if you want to know more about that, just a couple weeks ago, I posted a in-depth, thorough video of world weather prediction events covering the whole globe with map scrying, channeled meditation with information. I'll leave a link up here so that you can watch it and catch up on all my past weather predictions from July. And that weather prediction video goes from July till early 2025. So be sure to check it out at the link up above. North Korea keeps coming to my mind, and I feel that the leader of North Korea is very antsy. Like, I, I tried to t tap into his energy. He felt like antsy and like anxiety ridden in some way. But also, something all of a sudden, as he's antsy and he's all anxiety ridden, I see that something suddenly angers him, and he's very angry. And you know how people, when they overreact, what I say about overreacting during this retrograde energy shift do not overreact. Well, I think Kim Jong-un is about to overreact to something. Something that could cause him to make a very less than smart decision. Such as sending a missile towards the United States, Japan, or right into South Korea. And then maybe saying it was an accident after he calms down from his anger, sp anger spurts. So something to keep an eye on. Keep an eye close on North Korea. Because I just feel like tensions between the North and South are also going to ignite but also tensions between North Korea and Japan. I also feel that there is going to be a push in all countries across the globe to ignite military drafts. I know a lot of people, and especially my moms out there, to have kids or grandkids. I know you don't want to hear this, but Spirit showed me there's going to be a big push for this across the globe. And it's all in a desperate measure to continue to for the elites money-making opportunities, funding you know, world conflicts and having someone fight them. So as time moves forward, less and less young folks are going to be wanting to will or willing to fight. You know, they're not going to be willing in these elites conflicts. So they're going to begin to awaken. They're already awakening. But when they're drafted and they're sitting on battlefields, there's going to be a big awakening. And that's when they're going to put down their weapons. They're not going to want to fight conflicts anymore. And that's how it's going to stop when there's no one that wants to fight anymore. That's when conflict stops. When people say, we're putting our guns down. We're not fighting. We don't want to fight. That's how it stops. It's the only way it's going to stop. So that'll be interesting. And that's over the next decade, of course. But the dra drafts coming back, I see that happening within the next year to two years. All countries, including the United States. Earlier today, when I was preparing my forecast and predictions, I kept hearing football, football. It's going to happen at football, football. And then when I say football, you know, I think of, of course, the United States, we think of football. Our football is different than soccer because real true football is soccer. Americans have to do everything twisted now, don't they? 
Not me. As my ancestors did that, not me. <laughs> so I'm thinking soccer, not necessarily American football. Although I would think football season starts soon enough, but not in August. Maybe preseason. I don't know. I don't follow sports. Could care less. But I do like a good soccer game, especially a really good soccer game like Brazil or somebody good playing. Other than that, I'm thinking spirit telling me football, football has something to do with some type of a big attack happening at a football game, a football arena. And I'm thinking, of course, this is in a different country, and this could even be near Iran, something to do with Iran or Israel in between those two countries. I know that there was a supposed missile in this whole thing that just happened with Israel, and it, it took out young lives that were playing football. But this is different. This is, this is a big football thing. You know, this is a big stadium, big thing, big thing. So be safe, be mindful, especially if you're at a football game. And again, I'm thinking I'm in another country. I only heard it. I only can interpret what I hear or what I see. And I only heard it in spirit. I kept hearing the football, football. I'm sure I'll get more about this prediction in, in the near future. That's why you got to tune in every Tuesday for Tittle Tea Time. So to sum it up, one of the most important things in the month of August that we're going to see and need to be aware of and be prepared, not scared, is for cyber attacks and major outages to occur. Remember what I said in July, maybe you don't if you're a new follower, in July I said in prediction from Spirit that they were, they meaning global elite, I guess, whatever you want to call them, the illuminated ones, whatever you want to call them, that they were going to test their systems. The cyber attackers would be the they in this, this category, actually. We're going to test the grounds by testing their hacking abilities before launching something much bigger. And I said that, and I thought that the test was going to happen in early August. It only happened a few days after I said it. So they already tested the grounds. So therefore, a major cyber attack definitely happening. And it's going to become cyber conflicts. You know, the WW3 is going to be more cyber conflicts, like major cyber conflicts, taking out people's power and such. So make sure that you have power, whatever it may be. Uh, and whatever you may need just to survive and to keep your food good and everything for at least a week minimum. Always have food. I like the, the emergency foods where you can just add hot water if you need. It's easy to cook up some hot water. So just be prepared. Don't be scared. And no, major cyber attacks and major outages are coming. I said I saw a city going dark. We just saw that in Paris right at the end of July. I wouldn't doubt to see Paris go dark again and then other attacks happen when it does go dark. So be aware. And if it goes dark where you are, especially in a city, take shelter, be safe, be aware, and you'll be fine and know that this too will pass. And with that Lionsgate portal opening in the triple eights this year, more powerful and the most powerful in nine years and more powerful than the one nine years ago in 2015, of course, they're going to, they being the global elite, are going to use this as a ceremonial sacrificial month to sacrifice as many souls as they possibly can in any form that they can, especially if they can strike up fear or push towards their agendas even more. So therefore, fires are going to be a big one. August always is a fiery month, but this August, mm, beware, friends. Fires and fires everywhere. Keep an eye to the skies. Because keeping an eye to the skies might catch those lasers coming down. Or whatever else may be the cause of this. No matter where we're at nowadays, it just doesn't seem like we're only safe if we're prepared. And that you have a plan. And always have a plan. So some significant dates. And keep in mind that I will be putting out more August predictions. And I will do a channel August prediction session as well. Meditation. So be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check your notifications and check my channel if you haven't gotten notifications because sometimes people mysteriously become unsubscribed from my channel and other channels as well, which is so unfair. Some significant dates to look towards for major, major, huge events to occur. August 4th being the first one. August 4th, August 17th, August 19th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 29th, and the 31st. It's a lot of dates. It's a quite a handful of dates for sure. It's more than a handful, actually, but a handful plus one. <laughs> the 4th of August, the 17th, the 19th, the 21st and the 22nd, the 29th and 31st. 
The 29th jumps out at me, and I'd be willing to bet that that's likely related to a big storm, maybe the big earthquake. It's an 11 day. And a lot of times we could expect to see likely something related to storms or big events on the 11th. It's not in my significant date list, but the 11th is always significant. No matter what month we're in, the 11th and 29th, always look towards those dates. So again, for August, the 4th, the 17th, the 19th, the 21st, the 22nd. Interesting that the 19th, 21st, and 22nd, all those dates is when the DNC is happening in Chicago. So if you're in Chicago or you're going to that, uh, that DNC, be extremely mindful and safe. And that wraps it up for this edition of August Forecast and Predictions. And again, I will have many more predictions coming out in the near future. Keep an eye out. I will take the predictions from today's broadcast, add to it, and put out a separate video with that, along with some channeled August predictions. And don't forget to tune in every Tuesday for Tuesday's Tittle Tea Time. I thank you all for your love and support for joining the community down below or the subscribe star Awaken Your Spirit community. My supporters make this free content possible for everybody else, and I thank them with infinite love and gratitude. Remember, you can find more information about me at my website, josephtittle.com, T-I-T-T-E-L, or at spiritmanjt.com, one or the other. And they all go to the same place. You can find out more information about me there. Don't forget to sign up for the free newsletter down below. Until the next time, friends, I hope you have an amazing month of August. Don't let the, the retrograde and the energies throw you off. and Don't sabotage your month into being sabotaged. Instead, make your month an amazing month. Your month is in your hands, friends. I just gave you all the tools to help you navigate through this month. May you navigate it with ease and with joy. And remember to take time to celebrate life, celebrate you, be kind to others as you wish others be kind to you. And remember, friends, be bold, be true, be kind, be you. Let your light shine and have a beautiful rest of your day, friends. Namaste and much love.